Hey YouTubers, back here again with another haul for you guys. Uh, finally had a little bit of time to shoot a video to show you some of the books that I picked up over the past few months. I picked up a lot of raw books and um, just a few graded books. I also sent down some books to be graded, and um, which I'm going to show you first. All the graded books that I picked up and that I sent in. So here we have a Scatterbrain number one, which is a Spider-Man number one cover swipe. This came back at 80. Very, very hard book to find. There's only two on the CGC census, and this is one of the two. Alright. Next up, we have. I sent in my prism number one. And this came back a 9.0 qualified because of. Uh, there's a name on the back, Al Harris, written on the back cover, which is the, uh, the the writer and artist of the book. But this came back at 9.0, and this is the highest on the CGC census. There's only one other on there, but this is the highest on the census. So happy with that grade. Another very hard book to find. early uh, Eric Larson work. Alright, next up I sent in one of my copies of Strange Adventures number 79 and then it came back at 3.5 which I thought it would come back at 3.5 I love this cover. Another very hard book to find. Snowman from Outer Space. <laughs> I really like these new CGC cases. Nice and clear. Next, we have another hard book to find a Steve Ditko cover. Space Adventures number 12. That came back a 2.0, which I thought it should have came back a 3.5 at least, but. Came back at 2.0. Oh wow. Well. I love this uh, this cover by Steve Deco. Alright, next up. I sent in one of my copies of my Rook Premier 15. And this one came back at 7.0. Not bad. Origin or first appearance of Iron Fist. First appearance. So this is pretty cool. Rory Thomas, Rory, Rory Thomas story. Oh, I'm happy with that grade. I thought it would have came back at 8.0. But 7.0 is fine. Next we have... One of my copies of Luke Cage here for hire number one. And that came back uh, a 5.5, which I thought it should have came back at 6.0. But I hear that CGC, they're grading a lot harder than what they did before. So maybe before then it would have came back at 6.5, but. Okay, like 6. 5.5, and this is the origin and first appearance of Luke Cage, and the first appearance of Diamondback. Alright. Next we have, uh, I sent in my copy of FF52. And I came back on 5.0, which was very disappointing when I came back but I'm glad I have a copy this is one of the first Silver Age books I picked up when I got back into collecting first appearance of Black Panther and a human's appearance let's move this down below Next 
next we have my Tesla Suspense number three. And that came back a 4.5. Really happy with that grade. And this is a fine salsa cover. Joe Busima cover. Or John Busima. Yeah, I was really happy with this grade. I thought it might have been trimmed, but um, I'm glad they said it wasn't trimmed. It was a 50-50 chance it would have came back a purple label. Alright, and the last book I sent in to be graded was my first appearance of Brute. And this came back right what I thought it would. <clears throat> 3.5. I'm happy with that grade. All right, let's move some of these down. And next, I'm going to show you some of the books that I bought already graded. First up, we have about a 9.8 copy of Descenders number one. Got that really cheap. I think I paid 40 bucks for it. Great story. Descenders number one. Next, I picked up a 9.2 copy of Scout number one. I've been picking up a lot of job covers, and this is one of his covers here. I love his art. This is the first appearance of Bad Horse Jock Cover. Here we go, 9.2. Next, I picked up a, which I wasn't planning on winning, but I wanted <laughs> a Journey to Mystery number 125, 7.0. This is the last issue of Journey to Mystery before it turned into Thor. One I needed for my run. Hercules appears, last issue. 7.0, all five pages. Yeah, I'm really liking these, uh, these new cases. HD. Next, I picked up a Strange Tales number 46 at a 4.5. This is a, a hard book to find also. I think I paid 75 bucks for it. I seen a lower grade copy of this raw sell for about 150 200 bucks. So I got a good deal on this. I love my pre-heroes. <laughs> Alright, next we get into some variants. Now, I usually don't buy variants, but I had to get some of these because they're a rather good price. Uh, we have um, Green Lantern number 9. This is the, the Batman Green Lantern variant. I really like this cover. Nine point six. Order their first appearance of the new tattoo man. All right. Move some of these down. Two more books to show you. Next. We have another variant, DK Dark Knight 3, Master Race number 1, and this is the uh, pre previous UK edition, another jock cover that I had to get.
9.8 white pages. Sorry about the glare there. But yeah, I like that cover. And the last book I just got in a couple of weeks ago, we have Detect the Comments number 880. And you know, this is another chalk cover, 9.6. This is signed by uh, Chalk, July of last year. Sign right there. I love this cover too by Chalk. Had to add one of these to my collection. I might send this in to uh, get one of the new slabs, but we'll see. All right, that's all the raw books I picked up over the past few months. In my next video, I'll show you all the, uh, I mean, that's all the graded books I showed you and that I picked up in the last few months. Next, I'll show you all the raw books that I picked up in my next video. All right, you guys have a good one later.